Well, hello, everybody. It's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is exactly in the place where you are. Well, we are talking about the Trinity and the Holy Spirit, and this is one tough topic, the Trinity. Now, let me see if I can blow your minds today, because the more I've come to understand this, this just expands my mind so incredibly and deeply affects my prayer and the way that I relate to God. Uh, I was talking to someone recently who said, you know, all of a sudden we come to new understandings in our faith walk and we might be 70 or 80 years old. We might have walked our whole life in a certain way with a certain level of understanding. And then all of a sudden God goes, it's time to increase your knowledge. It's in time to increase your understanding. And everything in a sense in our life brings us to that new revelation and new understanding. And for some reason, unknown unto God, some people seem to understand these things very young. So wherever you are, as you grow in this knowledge of the Trinity, and we'll get to talking about the Holy Spirit again, uh, I pray that this really blesses you in your prayer. Now, the Trinity is a concept, as we've said the last couple of times, that's very hard to get our head around. God, who is three persons in one and yet one. Three distinct persons yet in one. Now, when we think about God, the scriptures give us some uh, great passages that tell us that God is, well, the best way to say it, that God is unknowable. That's right, that God is unknowable, that God is so far beyond us, so far beyond us in many ways we can't know God. Uh, if we read in the book of, if we read in the book of Isaiah, it says in Isaiah 55, verse 8 and 9, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Again, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. We, we, another passage in Psalm 145 verse 3 says, Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. Now, so when we come to God, we can stop and we go, in, in that sense, God is unknowable. But God seeks relationship with us. So what God desires is that we would know him, we would love him and we would be in relationship with him. Uh, but a God who is beyond what we can imagine, because God is. Do we really think that we can define God by our own minds? God who is infinity, God who is all-knowing, who is in the past, in the future, who is all-powerful, do everything that we can describe him just with our limited mentality. For a long time, I thought I could, and then I realised God is just so much bigger. And so God seeks to give expression to himself so that humanity can relate to this unknowable God. Now, one of the problems that we have when talking about God so often and talking about the Trinity is that language has its limitations and, and language almost seeks and gropes for better ways of describing God in many ways. Uh, but, but, it is, but it is limited. See, if we went back into the Greek world a long time ago, actors, when they acted, sometimes would act with masks. And so they would put a mask on and you would have maybe the same actor who would use different masks at different times. And those masks in that acting world were called personas. And from the, from the word persona, we get the word person which in a, in a way is to describe a different, the, the persona of the actor was, was different as they were trying to communicate something different and the role that they were playing. In the same way, when we talk of the Trinity as being three persons in one, in, in, in a sense, it's like there's three personas, distinct, but one. Distinct, one acting multiple, multiple roles. And so, and so God, who is the unknowable God, is, expresses himself in ways that we can see. And the, and the number one way that God expressed himself and the way we can see is through his son, Jesus. 
Jesus is God's physical presence on the earth. We can touch him. We were able to touch him, to see him, to hug him. We we're able to bury him. We were able to carry his body, um, able to be around him. We know that Jesus, after he had risen from the dead, he, there's that scene at the end of John's gospel where he, he says to all of them to come in, that he has some fish that he has cooked and he eats in front of them so they can see that he has a real physical manifestation and the physical presence of God was in the world. What's the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit, we might say, is God's presence within us because what does it say in the script? We are, God, we are temples of the Holy Spirit. So God's presence within us. And so Jesus, who is Lord, the Holy Spirit, who is Lord, the Lord of life, the one who enables us to do, re reside within us. And what do they do? They point to the love of the Father, the Father's love for us. And so, so this deep communion and union between the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, it, it, the whole goal is to reach out into humanity so that humanity would know this unknowable God who's beyond definition because our minds just, God just explodes who we are to be so much more. And so when we pray, we're praying to the God that is unknowable in so many ways. And, and that the Father's love, that Jesus as Saviour and Lord, the Holy Spirit as God's power in us, leads us to this place of the unknowable God who expresses himself as three persons in one. And so we pray, Holy Spirit, reveal to me the mystery of the Father and the Son and the Spirit as three persons in one. And allow yourself to sit with the reality of that and the depth of that, because it truly is mind blowing. It blows my mind every time I think about the reality of, of who God is and how God expresses himself and how God is communicating his love for all of us. Loving Father, I thank you today that you're with us. Allow us to see these, the, the person, each of the persons, the persona, so that we could grow more deeply in this union that God seeks with us. And Father, we make this prayer in the name of Jesus through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, um, by the way, I forgot to say, wherever you are around the world, God is never far from you.